Yob chapter 32. So these three men ceased to answer Yov, because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then Elihu, the son of Barakel, the Buzite, of the family of Ram, burned with anger. He burned with anger at Yov because he justified himself rather than Elohim. He burned with anger also at Yov's three friends, because they had found no answer, although they had declared Yov to be in the wrong. Now Elihu had waited to speak to Yov, because they were older than he. And when Elihu saw that there was no answer in the mouth of these three men, he burned with anger. And Elihu, the son of Barakel, the Buzite, answered and said, I am young in years, and you are aged. Therefore I was timid and afraid to declare my opinion to you. I said, Let days speak, and many years teach wisdom. But it is the Ruach in man, the breath of El Shaddai, that makes him understand. It is not the old who are wise, nor the aged who understand what is right. Therefore I say, Listen to me. Let me also declare my opinion. Behold, I waited for your words. I listened for your wise sayings while you searched out what to say. I gave you my attention, and behold, there was none among you who refuted Yov or who answered his words. Beware lest you say, We have found wisdom. Elohim may vanquish him, not a man. He has not directed his words against me, and I will not answer him with your speeches. They are dismayed. They answer no more. They have not a word to say. And shall I wait, because they do not speak, because they stand there and answer no more? I also will answer with my share. I also will declare my opinion. For I am full of words. The Ruach within me constrains me. Behold, my belly is like wine that has no vent, like new wineskins ready to burst. I must speak that I may find relief. I must open my lips and answer. I will show no partiality to any man or use flattery toward any person, for I do not know how to flatter, else my maker would soon take me away. Amen.